Hello, CKC would like to introduce you to an online classroom management tool that can be projected to your classroom whiteboard or digital teaching screen. Classroom Screen is a free tool that can be used to launch different screens with widgets you would like to use during your lessons. The downside to the free version is screens cannot be saved. However, classroom screens can be designed in a short amount of time. Access to classroom screen and further information can be found at classroomscreen.com. Let's take a look at some of the widgets or tools that be, can be utilized before we actually launch a screen to explore. Classroom Screen has 13 widgets that help display directions and information in a visual manner for the entire class to clearly see. Some of these widgets are a timer to help students with task completion, a drawing tool where you can make drawings or notes, also a traffic light that can be used in several ways. It can indicate if a student can disturb the teacher or it can also use it on their own device to enter, indicate their progress on a project. There's also a QR generator that within just a few seconds, students can scan the code with their own device from their seats. There's also a text box where you have the option of typing in a message or instructions. And there's also a random name generator that easily makes um, creating groups efficient. There's also some work symbols that's a visual reminder of how students may work together. Also a sound level to control to help the students manage their voice level when working on different types of tasks and also a poll feature. So let's go to launch now. If you click on sign up for free, you can easily sign up with your email or even your Google ID. When you launch a classroom screen, one of the first things you want to consider is what type of background you would like to have. The background could be content related to the lesson, or it also could be a plain background that is less distracting. You may also want to consider the option of uploading your own photos to use as the background. The next feature is the random name generator. So once you have already loaded your list of students, you can simply click on random name, click on choose, and it will choose a student to respond or complete a task. You can also click on settings and go back and have the um, random name picker either remember the chosen words so they're not chosen again or forget them. Another unique tool is dice. You can choose to have one, two, or three. And you can use these for in a variety of ways, either for student task um, assignments or random gameplay. One of my favorite is the sound level. You must be able to have um, classroom screen access your microphone, and then you can set the sensitivity level and the maximum noise level. And you can also have, if you notice, it's color coded to give an indication if the noise in the classroom is too loud. You can also set a timer to assist 
with making a noise to indicate it's too loud in the classroom at that time. You also have the option of uploading different images, videos, even a webcam or other embedded items onto the background of your classroom screen. This is the QR code generator that was mentioned previously. Again, students can access the QR code with a device right from their seats. Here is the drawing tool. You can choose different colors, different widths of your lines, and also, of course, the option of erasing. To give visual directions or instructions, simply click on the text box, enter your text, it's nice that you can also add in um, different hyperlinks. You can change the size. You can change the type of font and the style of the font. The work symbols are just good visual reminders of what is expected upon completing a task whether there should be silence because we're taking an assessment, whether it's a whisper because you are in a small group or working with a partner. Could also be ask a neighbor if you have a question instead of interrupting the teacher. And then also if it's a collaborative task where students are gonna be expected to engage in conversation. Notice I was able to hide the widget bar. You can also move these around um, anywhere you would like them, the widget to be displayed on the screen. Here is the traf light, traffic light that was mentioned. So if you do not want students um, to interrupt, you may put on the red light. There are many different ways you could use this tool. You can also go to settings and you can change the background color for the traffic light. A few other unique tools is a visual timer that you can set for however long you need to. And if you notice, there's also a music setting that it can play music um, while they are working. If you notice, there's also a stopwatch, a clock, which could be very helpful with time management and also a calendar if you're helping students plan ahead for completing a project or reviewing timelines. So if you notice, you can have one widget up at a time or you can have multiple widgets at a time. Another feature we would like to show to you is the poll feature. So if you click on the home button, it takes you back to your account. This is where you can personalize. If you want to choose the option to upgrade, you can. There's also a help center, a place for you to create new screens, new polls, and a new group maker. If you want to add another class or group of students that you would like to be put into groups. So here is add a poll. and you can choose your question type. It could be the use of smileys, it could be multiple choice, or it could be true false. It also gives you the place to put in your question or your poll that you would like to take. You can make the results visible 
you can close the, the voting. And you can also choose the type of chart that the responses are recorded in, whether it's bar, pie, or donut graph. You can also click on Reset Votes. So basically, that was just a quick tutorial to introduce Classroom Screen. Once you get on and start clicking, you will find that it is very user friendly. If you find great success with using Classroom Screen, please reach out to any of the CKEC consultants and share your experience. Thank you.